Hello friends, this video in Amines part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's start with understanding the common and IUPAC names of the Amines. How, you, how to name this? Because the first thing you should understand is how to name these guys. And then we'll understand how to prepare them. And then what are the properties and then what are, how they react. Right? The, the first thing is how to name these Amines. So now we'll start with a common name. Please note we are not understanding or we are not trying to understand IUPAC now, name now. We are trying to understand the common name now. Common names of amine. So write the common name for aliphatic amine. We just prefix the alkyl group to amine. And we use alkyl amine as one word. For example, there is a and please note this is a methyl group attached to amine. So we'll call this methyl amine. That is a common name of this compound. We'll talk about IUPAC on the similar compound later. Just understand that this compound will call methyl amine as one word. There's an ethyl group attached to this amine. So we'll call it ethyl amine. And this is for the primary aliphatic one degree for one degree we just use alkyl amine as a common name methyl amine ethyl amine propyl amine butyl amine isobutyl amine so things goes on like that alkyl amine is the word used for one degree aliphatic amines for secondary and tertiary amines it, if two or more groups are same we use dry and tri prefix. For example, if you see there are two methyl group attached here, right? So we'll call this dimethyl amine. So in this case, one, two, three methyls. I'll call this trimethyl amine, right? This is my dimethyl amine. This is my trimethyl amine. If they are same, right? Two or three groups are same. If they are not same, the mixed amine is not simple amine. It's a mixed amine. What we do is we follow the alphabetical order. For example, here we have ethyl and methyl. So let me write here ethyl and methyl. Two things are there. So let me start alphabetically. A, B, C, D, E, E comes first. So it will be ethyl and the next is methyl ethyl methyl amine that will be the name of this compound pretty easy just common name so if you have only a uh, single one degree then use the word alkyl amine so if you have a uh, secondary or tertiary amine but the uh, uh, simple ones then you can use the word dry or dry for example here i have used dimethyl amine di trimethyl amine or diethyl amine triethyl amine like that you can use if it is a mixed amine so in that case, you can use just alphabetical order. So ethyl, methyl amine, or if you have, let's suppose, propyl, A, B, C, D, E. So you can use ethyl, propyl, things like that. Pretty easy. We'll, we'll take some more examples to understand the common names. We'll take some practice. So if you see here, we have CH3, CH, CH3, and H2, right? So you have to write the common name of this. So if you see, this is my amine, and and if you compare this with ammonia, you see that two hydrogen is intact, only one hydrogen is replaced. So it is one degree amine, correct? And if in one degree amine, this part is added, correct? Because this part is this part. What is this part? So if you see, this is nothing but isopropyl because you are not adding NH2 here, you are adding NH2 here. So if you are adding NH2 here, here also, if you see, this is one degree amine. So this part is propyl. But since you are adding NH2 here, right? In this in this carbon, this is isopropyl. So the name will be, as I told, for one degree, it's alkyl amine, and the alkyl part is here is isopropyl, right? Amine you have to add. It's one word actually, because as I told. For one degree, alkyl amine is a common name for one degree amines. 
This is one degree amine. And this part is my isopropyl here. So it's isopropyl amine. If you talk about this guy, this, this compound, this will be propyl amine or n propyl amine. Correct. Let's see this. So let's again compare this with ammonia NH3. You see all three hydrogen is replaced. Right? All three hydrogen is replaced. Correct. So I have what? I have one methyl. Sorry. One ethyl and two methyl. So I have ethyl and methyl. How many ethyl? One. How many methyl? Two. Correct. So let's name this as per uh, my alphabetical order so a b c d e so ethyl since there is only one ethyl i'll use ethyl and then m comes so methyl but there are since two methyls i'll use dimethyl and then you are use this word i mean this will be the name ethyl dimethyl i mean please note here that Alphabetical order is based on ethyl and methyl. Alphabetical order is not as per ethyl and dimethyl. Please note, we will not follow this because if we follow this, D, A, B, C, D, D comes first, then we'll have to write dimethyl, ethyl. So we have seen that in the earlier nomenclature also that this dry dry is not taken into consideration. Now let's understand. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.